ride him up on the tool shed. This is where I had the Hub 2T mounted. So I'm gonna swap that out now. Just uh, take the bracket off and this goes on with two zip ties. Put the Hub 2x2 up and then we'll test the distance like we did with the Hub 2T. So got it mounted here. Roughly the same spot on the tool shed. I had to move it over loose a little bit, but um, we will test the range and see how it goes. When we did the other one, see that woods way back there? The far right hand corner, that's the edge of our field. And I was getting a full signal in there just as good as I get in the office. So we shall see what kind of range we got now. Okay, we're gonna check this just like we did with the Hub 2T. I'm gonna use speed test on my phone. I just checked it in the shop. Uh, download a 13.1, upload 1.71. Yeah, we don't have blazing internet, but uh, let's do another test here. 11.3 down. Probably about one on the upload again. Now I'm gonna drive out to the far corner of the field across the road down by the woods, like I showed you up on the roof, and we'll see what it does there. Uh, last time I was getting just as much signal from the Hub 2T, and that's like 3,000 feet from the shop as I was standing next to the router. So we'll see if the Hub 2x2 two two does the same. Okay, let's see how we do out here. We're far away, edge of our property by the shop, across the road from the shop, I should say. So let's do another test. We'll hit go. Try to stick it out the window a bit here because I was uh, in the Ranger last time, so I was pretty much outside. It's 405 down and 101 up. We have lost some, some download speed, um, but the upload is still about what I normally have in the shop. But now we should really test the range, see if we got any more range. The four Mbps on the download, um, that's a, a little slower, but I mean, it's adequate for whatever I'm doing out in the field. And if it stays a good signal, you know, I'm out here uh, doing live videos or something out in the middle of the field, that's sometimes better than uh, being on the network. I lose signal doing that stuff sometimes. So let's check another spot. Opposite far north corner. So let's see what we get here. Just by the Wi-Fi indicator on the phone, I got better connection. Oh yeah, I do. Looks like it's gonna be around 10. Let's finish up here. And it's slowing down a little bit. It's gonna be 902 download. And gonna be one again. Upload. Roughly one, just a hair under, maybe. I have a clear view too, which is one thing. Uh, when I'm over here, uh, I can see um, I can't quite see the antenna, but I know where it is on the roof. I can maybe kind of kind of see it. When I was in the other corner behind me, um, the house and the trees probably do block it a little bit. Uh, like I said in the other video, um, I do wonder if I, I put it up on the grain leg instead of just the tool shed or, um, you know, got another one um, where it could jump from the tool shed to the grain leg. I uh, wonder how much distance I would get if I was up 70 feet in the air instead of like 25, whatever it is. Drive down the lane, see what we can get. Okay, so I did get it. I lost it. And I'm at the end of the grass lane while I'm across from the end of the grass lane. And I do have signal. I lost the Hub 2T somewhere past the grass lane. I suspect this one's gonna be similar. So I'll back up here. Signal's getting a little weaker, a little bit weaker. Still backing up. Still got a signal. Backing up, signal actually got stronger there. So I would say I am now farther away than I was. With the Hub 2T, the Hub 2x2 is doing better going this way. Now remember, I did mount it up higher too, so probably has a little better angle coming off the tool shed. 
this way. I, I'm actually getting quite a bit farther here. This field goes a full mile to the next road. I did go north. I'm going south right now. I did go north and look and I couldn't pick it up over there. A mile north of here, I could not pick it up, but the, but it's shooting straight through the trees around the house and stuff across the road. Um, here, I still got kind of a clear shot, so I am backing up. People that live in the house back here, if they're home, or wondering what is wrong with Brian. So I have a lot more range to the south. Um, I'm probably a thousand feet farther already than I was with the Hub 2T. So the 2x2 two two definitely gave me some more range going this way. Let me stop a minute. I'm going to pull the camera down so you can see where I'm at. Okay, so I did get signal back. And I'm still farther away than I was with the old antenna. And when I was driving around the block on the road, I picked it up. Uh, right at the neighbors exactly where I would pick it up or lose it with the 2T. So the 2x2 two two was the same coming down the road. Kind of coming up a little hill there. So, oh. <laughs> Lost it again. I have to get it back. Air mesh. Connecting. No internet. Connected. So, let's go back to the speed test. And I'm way, way down the lane still. And I am back, I am back dead even with the grass lane. So let's back up some until I lose this again. Or it gets one notch weaker. Let's do that. And then we'll check the speed. But I definitely have more range to the south, that's for sure. There. We lost one bar. Okay, let's check our speed down the lane here. Let's see what happens. Connecting. Yeah, we still got some speed in here. Hey, that's getting up there. It's going to settle down maybe around seven, looks like. Yep. See what the upload does. Not much upload. Oh, hey, there it goes. If I have faster upload out here in the middle of this 200 acre. 50 acre field I'm gonna have to start uploading YouTube videos out here sitting in the field okay anyway I don't know why the upload was faster out here but yeah got connection to the south pretty good while I'm driving through the field here I want to give a shout to Bill Moffat at Air Mesh I had emailed him and said hey that hub 2t I think it died and I got a new power over ethernet connector. I uh, just picked one up like the Best Buy or something and it didn't fire back up and that did not work. So I was asking them what my options could be. I went through the troubleshooting. That was one of the common things that or a bad cable. I was hoping the cable wasn't bad so I wouldn't have to run it back to the roof again. So he said, how about this? He goes, how about I send you a hub two by two and I'll send you a return label and you can send the 2T back because I'd like to look at it. He said, if, if you'll do another review video, I'll send you the Hub 2x2. So I said, yeah, let's do that. And I'd be more than happy to send the Hub 2T back to you. So just for fun, when the Hub 2x2 came, I used that power over ethernet. The old one fired right back up. So I emailed Bill, I said, hey, I want to get one for my house anyway. I'm more than willing to pay for the new one that you sent me. And he said, no, 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 go ahead. If you want to do another video, do another video. You can keep them both. And it turns out what it is, 
the air mesh units run on, I think, what did he tell me? I'll change this if it's wrong. He told me uh, they run on 24 volt and most of the POEs you can pick up um, just at your big box retailers or whatever are 48 and they won't work. So that's what I had. And he said, they're smart enough. Uh, they're not gonna fry themselves or whatever. So, which it didn't. So good news, it didn't die. My POE just died. And Bill shot me a link to get the same POE that they use. So if I ever lose another one, uh, they don't really cost very much. I can get another one of those um, with an Amazon link. Maybe I'll pop that down in the description. You can find that. So now I am uh, in the woods um, to the east edge of our property line. So I will see what kind of connection I get here. Uh, I want to test all the same spots I did last time you know, kind of get a good comparison here. So I'll stop right here and let's check our speed again. Okay, I'm connected to it. So let's go back to the speed test. Start a new speed test. You can see the shop down there. It might be kind of hazy. Sun going down far away over there. So we're connecting edge of our property line far as we go this way. Pretty good speed there. That's gonna be about what I get in the shop. Here we go. That's cool, 12.38. Getting some better upload speed too. There it goes back down to what I'm, what I'm used to. There we go. So, Got all the checks in there. We've checked all the same spots and we got connection everywhere. Maybe a little bit more range, uh, not a whole lot. Gets a little touchy when we push it, so. So it's about quitting time. We've checked all the areas. Um, seems like the air mesh is a good way to extend your internet around a piece of property. So now that I know that hub 2t works which is nice um that that does work because it it's been up on the tool shed roof for like a year in the sun wind rain snow heat cold whatever so and it still works I just had the uh the little box that powers it uh went bad which um he says that's a possible common problem so, so yeah and i'm excited to take that hub 2t um i gotta fish some cable from the basement up to the garage attic probably is what I'll do. And then I've got about three acres at home and I should easily have connection there based on uh, last year's test with the Hub 2T. So uh, that'll be great uh, using my uh, wireless noise canceling uh, headphones, um, connect that to my phone and then uh, won't be using any data to stream podcasts and music and stuff like that when I'm protecting my ears and mowing the yard and weed eating and whatever. So that'll be cool.